Hello once again and welcome. This is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions with today's Tech Tip Tuesday. Once again, I'm working on Chief Architect Premier version X9 on my iMac desktop computer. Uh, these these uh, tips will do apply if you're using a PC. Today I am going to be uh, showing you how I change the uh, color of a material, in particular this siding today. Uh, we've chosen Jamestown Blue that we'd like to paint onto this siding, and if I just select the color and paint it, you can see the uh, I can icon of my mouse, had, the cursor has changed to a spray can, and I just paint that on there, it's going to be just a flat blue color. That's not what we want. Uh, so I'm going to select the Jamestown blue color from my library. And down at the bottom of my screen, bottom left here, you'll see the child tool options for the uh, material painter. Let's go through the options quickly. This is uh, material painter component mode. If you cl just click on this on one component, you get one thing painted. So I could paint the shutters of this window, they would become Jamestown Blue. I could choose the next object down here, next uh, icon or uh, toolbar button on in the lower left hand of my corner is object mode. If I chose this, I could paint the whole object Jamestown Blue. So all of the trim and the shutters would become blue. Uh, if I chose the next one down in the lower left, that's room mode. So anything that is this color in the room, uh, well that's not going to work because it doesn't recognize this room. So let's say I wanted the uh, cabinet tree to be Jamestown blue for some reason. I, I like that color of, of uh, cabinetry and I'm in room mode and I'm going to paint that Jamestown blue. So anything that's in the room uh, becomes Jamestown blue that was, let me, let me back up, <clears throat> you'll notice because the, um, the stove also changed to Jamestown blue. So anything Notice as I hover over different materials, the left hand, lower left hand corner. So I'm painting Jamestown blue onto a target which is color dash white. Over here, the trim is also color dash white, and I'm not sure why that didn't change to Jamestown blue. But anything that's color dash white in this room is going to become color, is going to become Jamestown blue. You'll notice the baseboard did. Maybe because this door has is in two rooms, it's not sure which room to pick uh, or select here. So the um, cabinetry became the Jamestown blue, the, the range did, the baseboard, etc. So that's room mode. But I don't want this to be Jamestown blue for the cabinetry. We're going to undo. Next is floor mode. Anything that's in this floor down here in the lower left that is color dash white. So first floor color dash white it's going to turn into Jamestown blue. So you'll notice everything in this floor turned into that. I'm going to undo again and this is everything in the plan. Now, I don't have the whole um, plan shown, but if I paint Jamestown blue on color dash white, and let's go up to second floor, you'll notice that all of these are also Jamestown blue. All floors, etc. We're going to undo that. Lastly, I can do this blend colors with materials. If I select this roller brush, I'm going to go back to component and roller brush. You'll see the cursor on my mouse change to a, to a roller brush. 
I'm going to paint the siding, the Jamestown blue, with the roller brush. So it, turns, it takes the siding texture <clears throat> and applies the color value of this Jamestown blue to the siding texture. Now, for, for this tip, I'm, I need to change the, um, I need to change the uh, texture of all of the walls in this area. So this is, I like to work with the default, set the defaults as much as I can, because if I don't set the defaults and I, I change it later, yeah, I'm missing somewhere that um, uh, that it's let's say I draw a new exterior wall uh, and it's back to this this uh, tan color so I'm going to open the the uh, wall dialog box specifications and go to wall types I'm going to edit the wall type by clicking define and this texture and I'm going to go to plan materials and you'll notice I have several different options Previously, we have gray three siding. Gray three siding painted this mocha color. Gray three siding painted color ivory. And now we've got gray three siding, siding whew, painted Jamestown blue. That's the, that's the default that I want this, all of these to be selected. So I click OK, click OK, click OK. Huh. Now you'll notice this one didn't get did not get changed. Let's go up to the second floor, and none of these got changed either. So what that tells me is that um, somebody probably yeah none of these got changed. Somebody's probably uh, th and this is why I change I change the default. I don't change I don't paint individual uh, rooms. This is exactly why I do this. Uh, so I'm going to go into I'm going to this is the wall that I changed earlier. I'm going to open that dialog box and change the materials exterior wall surface. Go into plan materials and I'm going to select use default. Now I'm going to select all of the exterior walls here. And let's open these. And I have a sense that they're probably not use default. Yes. See, these each individual object, each individual wall has a specified material. So I'm going to select material, again, plan materials. And I'm going to scroll back up. I could change it, right, by going down here. And doing gray three Jamestown blue that would get the effect but if I change the default again it's gonna this is gonna stay as Jamestown blue and I don't want that use default aha I think uh, I need to change these walls for the uh, for the bay again Open the wall, open the object, this, in this case, wall specification dialog box, exterior, go to materials, exterior wall surface, select material, plan materials, and we're going to just scroll up to use default. And now I'm going to select the four walls of the second floor. Had somebody not changed this, I wouldn't have to go through this step. I'd be done already because my default is already set, but this each object is not using the default the way it should be, at least the way I think it should be. So yeah, now I've got to go into the attic and change those those uh, object materials as well. Go into walls, select all of these objects as well. Plan materials. Use default. All right, the last
last thing, and I'm glad this happened because I'll show you what, what happens. Let's do a side-by-side -side screen split here. This is a different wall type, and I drew this wall type, so I know that they are good. Let's go into open each one up. Materials. Uh, they aren't good. Why aren't they? Uh, I know why. I didn't draw them. I just changed. I took the wall types and I just changed them. Let's do this. Let's set it up the way I want it to be set up. So I'm going to select all three wall types, change it to Use default. Now this is the gray three siding, which is the default uh, that was previously. In this wall type. All right, now our sample is set. Okay, now we're ready to go. So this was drawn as an existing wall. We're, we're tearing down the existing wall and re, just rebuilding two by six walls out here. And uh, so I didn't, I didn't actually draw these walls in. I took the walls, the objects that were there with, with their previous material um, selections and just changed the wall type. Uh, so that didn't change the, the material selections, it just changed the plan view. Uh, so now, here's what I'm going to do. If I go into wall types and change the default, so I've got one, two, three objects here, in this case, plus two objects in the attic. I'm just going to change, open one wall, wall types, define, and let's click on this pattern you can click on either of these. It, it pulls up the same select material. Plan materials. Gray 3 siding is selected by default in my template. I'm just going to scroll down and select Jamestown Blue. Okay, okay, okay. And all five objects get updated instantly. That's why I leave it as the, I try to leave the, the um, default settings. As, as much as I can, I try to leave the default settings the way they're, the, and change those uh, materials to, to be the color that I want to be in the default, not item by item. All right, this is Tim Schrock with Design Build Solutions with uh, today's Tech Tip Tuesday. I hope this has been helpful. If it has, uh, please give me an encouragement. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you have thoughts or ideas about this or any other topic that maybe you'd like to see on a Tech Tip Tuesday, let me know in the comments and we'll get to that. Otherwise, have a great week.